Hello everybody, how's it going? This is IDOC Canada. I'm coming to here with a little clip on the DV2000 series HP sound issue. Now, I had it myself and I was looking on the forums to find what is causing the issue that causes the sound to not work after so long. And then instead of getting this perfectly good sound, you end up getting the um, the the boom with the little red circle and X. Now, a lot of people have tried several different things. Uninstall, reinstall drivers, reinstalling your operating system, so many different things. Some people have even went as far as to getting a dongle, a sound card dongle that allows you to, well, you know, have sound without um, worrying about the internal speakers. Um, I went through so much stuff, I tried everything, and then I figured, you know what, if I'm spending this much time and trying to figure it out, I may as well just go ahead and go to the root of the problem. So I went to the registry and tried to figure out what it was, and um, well, here's the solution. When you install, let's just say for example, I have Windows 7 Service Pack 1 running on this, Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, when you install Windows 7 Ultimate Service Pack 1, it automatically installs generic drivers for the sound card. Now, here's the thing. Usually, most of the people running Windows 7 or later than Windows Vista, if it's if your computer is running later version of Windows um, compared to, as opposed to what was originally on there, which was Windows Vista, uh, you're going to end up getting some type of generic driver that installs into your sound. Now, what you'll end up getting is one thing that you'll end up uh, finding out is if you go to your device manager, let me just focus in here, you might see that your sound may have a little triangle, some type of yellow uh, symbol indicating that your drivers are uninstalled. As, as annoying as that is, like all this right here for me is annoying as hell. I want to get rid of that, and I will in a few minutes. Um, it's annoying as hell, but leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Don't touch it. Why? Because the generic drivers that are being installed by the operating system, if you were to, let's just say, for example, go in there and delete it and then reinstall brand new uh, drivers, the way this properly is supposed to be done is delete it, restart your computer, and then reinstall the new driver. Won't work. If you delete it, it'll mess up the system, you shut down, you turn it back on, and you'll end up having to do startup recovery and all that junk, which will, if works, it'll reinstall that driver that originally installed uh, through the, um, you know, uh, later than Windows Vista uh, setup, or it just won't work at all and you have to reinstall your whole operating system just to go through all that jazz. So leave it. Don't touch it. Do not go in here and try to do a Windows update. Uh, this is a con, uh, C-O-N-X-E-N-T, I believe, as a consent. Uh, this is a consent, um, uh, sound device uh, that you can install two different drivers for that through Windows Update there's the consent one, there's the high definition audio for the modem or you can go to the actual HP website and install that do not do it just leave it the heck alone my sound's working right now, it's perfectly fine let me see if I can get uh... there you go it's working. So leave it the heck alone. Don't worry about it. Don't need it. It's working. That's it. It's not like, you know, installing your device driver will give you better sound. It's not going to. Once your device is working, just leave it the heck alone. It's not broken. Uh, that little triangle, you know what? It may be annoying, but you're not going to look at it every five seconds. So it's not going to annoy the crap out of you. Um, but that's it. Why? What was happening was uh, the registry that recognizes the driver would as soon as you turn your computer on it's like driving down a road you have your you come to a y and you can either take a left or a right at one one point or another if you're if the correct driver loads your sound works but if the correct driver doesn't load and the other driver loads before the correct driver loads your sound's not going to work so people would have to go through like seven or eight different restarts before it starts working again just leave it alone there's a conflict in the driver that you would download or through Windows Update. 
that is annoying as hell and it doesn't work. So say for example, you do end up having to do a Windows update every time you um, shut down your computer. I'll show you how to stop your Windows update. Let's go to CM, let's go to command prompt. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, if you do, this thing is zooming in on me and not, uh, there we go. Net stop WA Windows update A user um, V. There you go. So press that. Hmm. Well, my computer is already shut off, so it's not going to do it. But if you do that particular command right there, just I'll take a zoom into a little bit better. Net stop. W A U serve, right? If you do that, it it uh, kills your system updates, and um, you can shut down without having to do an update. So just remember, once your device drivers are installed through what I did was, and I found this the best way to do it, Windows 7, Service Pack 1 Ultimate. Um, I downloaded that, installed it on here, everything's good. As long as your device drivers are installed through there, leave it. Do not touch your Windows update, do not touch the driver again. I'm sorry this video is so long explaining not to touch it, but I'm, I'm, I'm like serious, don't touch it. Because if I do it right now, I'll have to reinstall my whole operating system. I could do a rollback, but problem with the rollback is I can't find that exact driver, or it's gonna take a long time to find that exact driver that makes this work to put it back on here. So, I really hope that uh, explains everything. Again, I have a HP DV2000 series, it's a 2810 uh, CA version. And uh, yeah, I've got my device working. Everything's working great. I have a few messages down here. It's not gonna bother me too much. I just want my computer to work so I can do my, uh, do my work on it. So uh, if you do have any questions, please feel free to comment at the bottom. If there's anything that anybody else has figured out that's easier than what I'm doing, Feel free to do. Um, feel free to write it down. Uh, please don't flaming. This is just an educational video for people who are having this issue. So, uh, all right. Thank you.